Now, it must be said that this is not an exercise in being anti-French in any way. It actually should be an awakening about the false dream that was sold to the Canadian people as a uniting force that was supposed to allow both English and French to live together in harmony and e equality. Yet, for reasons which are drenched in fear regarding the possibility of how any English presence can devour the French and assimilate all, the French, therefore, cannot take any chances and must insist on French only. With a public sector union arguing bilingualism at work is a nuisance. For the use of English in council chambers. A habit Mayor Caroline St. Hilaire described as irritating in a Facebook post. Bilingualism shouldn't be a requirement of employment. French has to be the common language. This reality, which exists in the form of anti-English laws that remove the English language from sound and sight in the province of Quebec and a push for French dominance anywhere outside the province of Quebec. Edna, good morning. Hi, I live in a farming community just outside of Ottawa it's called Embrun. It is so French that I cannot get people to speak English to me at the grocery store. Creates zero chance for equality and will never produce harmony in any form. Thus, the English have a choice to make carry on believing the lie, or finally face the reality that the stated goal of Canada being a bilingual country can never become a linguistic reality if, as far as the French are concerned, the bi in bilingual means French dominance or French only.